What's up, guys? This is Adrian from Team of Bomb Snow, and we have. Hey, guys, it's Mike, at Straw Cab. We have round one here of the Bomb the Snow Cup. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see Damien Sam with Selgory Gothitel. And yes. on the right, you have myself playing Ray Eels. Ray Eels. And the thing is, this isn't um, live commentary. The other games are live commentary. It's just that when Aaron was commentating this, it turned out. He wasn't funny. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't the best, I would say. I'm not like. Gonna be mean, but it was pretty horrible. Anyways, <laughs> so we got Damien here, and we got Mike. We've established that, but yes, it's good you're reinforcing it. Yeah, and then we got Damien and Mike doing his dice shenanigans. All right. I wanted to see what I was gonna call, so, so I flipped first, right. and it worked. So well, Mike's going first. Good start. Starting with Quaza, you know it's not the best start in the deck, but if you have the Sky Arrow in play, you can get the turn one. Emolga, obviously I do not have that, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach, and I Juniper away a bunch of energy. Got like a Bianca, two and lightning, and a catcher and a switch. The two lightnings are good. Switch and Bianca's not too bad. But. Switch is uh, actually pretty critical for this matchup, if they get set up. Yeah. You want to be saving those, and uh, obviously I didn't have a choice there. And catcher is not a bad card to discard too, because if they have Gothitel up, you might as well want to get rid of the trainers when you can. Now you see I'm ultra balling an end away and, and another ball. and an ultra ball. It's uh this is the third support I've gone through in the yeah. first turn, so I only run ten or eleven, I don't remember offhand. But you know seeing that three's gone already, that's not good. It's not good, nope. Just get a single dynamo, so Yeah. Thinking maybe I have a Neil in hand already, because I threw away that other ultra ball, but overall pretty subpar strike for me. So Damien gets a level ball here. Oh, he, he goes for two level balls. See, now technically you're supposed to play one at a time. That way you don't look through your deck and say, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. That's, it was more important with, like, uh, dual ball, because you would yeah. know the outcome of your flips yeah, already. Yeah, dual balls a lot. I wouldn't let people use two dual balls at a time, but two level balls, like, most likely all your cards aren't prized, so it doesn't really matter. It's much. not too big a deal. Nah. At least from my standpoint, it's more of a disadvantage for him for doing two at the same time. Yeah. So we see a Shelmet and a uh, purple guy. I can't Muna, even that's Muna. Oh, okay, Muna. I'm not sure why you'd want to put down Muna right away. You usually want to save it for your end game, because uh, you use it to just get that Excel or the Mew and the DCE once your deck's thinned out. So putting it down early well, becomes it, catcher it, bait. It, yeah, it's catcher bait, but the thing is, it, it, I don't know what. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I was thinking that, like. You wouldn't go for the Muna, first of all, because you're kind of set up already. Well, it's just, you can get stuck behind it. You know, I can catch it up and stall for time while I'm setting up. Yeah, I guess you could. Anyways, in my turn, you see I attach a Prism Energy. I'm just, uh, you know, deciding if I want to kill the active, and I end up doing so. So that's the Goth Gothita gone already, which is pretty bad. I didn't have an EL in play. I didn't play a supporter, so I was, I'm looking pretty deep there. I'm hoping I took it off my prizes. I see another Prism in my hand, and that's about it. And Muna has 70 HP, so you most likely can't get another knockout next turn. Unless you have a catcher. Looks like Demi doesn't have ha uh, anything in his hand either. Yeah. I don't remember him playing supporter on his first turn. Touch is dark, he has a switch in his hand. So he could retreat if he wants, but whatever. I think we see a hypnosis here. And a I'm, tails. I'm yeah. asleep. So I another fire energy. Well, so yeah, da Damien didn't even play support of that turn either, so we're kind of in a stalemate now. I think right now I'm debating whether or not I want to play an N. Oh. Well, Pretty yeah, sure I topped that That's a full N, right? I think. Yeah, I remember the situation. So I got a, I got a Tynamo here. I'm not sure why I'm attaching an energy. Just, I guess, so I can Thunder Wave if the situation arises. Yeah, here we go. I'm switching out of it. I can T-Wave, get him in that 60 hit Yeah, range. yeah. So then it would have 60 HP. And here's the end. Uh, you know, I realized I needed to get set up before he does. Even if we both don't have a supporter, I, I have nothing right now. So if he gets anything at all, I can be in trouble. Yeah. So I was forced to play the end. Hopefully I'll have a turn advantage by playing my hand first. Still debatable, considering we both had nothing. Yeah, it's it doesn't really matter, though, honestly. I'm only drawing five. He's drawing six. So that's another card advantage, too. I got, a, I got my eel, I got a super rod. I don't see what else I have, but that's okay. Damien has a very candy Gothitelle, but you got rid of that Gothita already, so... 
He does have an Ultra Ball and a Dark Energy too. But he has no supporter, right? Yeah, it looks no. like he's but he has a Musharna. So that could get him a supporter. I'm just checking my resources right now, see what uh, I've wasted. Debating whether or not I want to put the yield down or if I want to go for the Thunder Wave. Probably the Thunder Wave would yeah, be. Yeah, that's what I decided to do. Oh, and I suck at the rolling dice, so let's try that again. It's a heads, but it doesn't really matter. Because you didn't know that he could evolve. Well, I knew he could evolve, I didn't know he had the evolution. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think he's going to get? What should he get with his Ultra Ball? Well, there's the evolution there. But now he has a huge retreat cost, and he goes to get the Dark Rye out. Yeah, I, I, I Ultra Ball right now for a... I, I Forewarn first, and then get a Ultra Ball for a Gothita. Uh, so that way you can candy for it next uh, time. Oh, look, he'll just get the Gothita off the Forewarn. Yeah, which is what he wants. He's going to put it on the bottom of his deck. And and like, no, oh, no, you can't do that. Oh. He's just trying to trick us. Oh. Hey, we caught on to his plays. Yeah. <laughs> So he goes and plays it on the Gothita. Maybe I would Ultra Ball for another, Ultra Ball for another Gothita, because he has the, he has the rare candy Gothitelle, and he needs to slow Mike down right now because he has no other Tynemos or Eels on the field. So he has a DC in hand, so he's thinking he can go ahead and get the Exiligor out and then try to get that ready. Well, he can't switch, so if he could have switched, he deck and cover would have been a good option, but he can't. So that's a that's a that's a what's, I, the word, what I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna go out and say I don't have a lot of experience with this deck actually at all. This is the first game I played against it, and I've never actually played with the deck. Uh, so uh, our comment shooting is not gonna be exact from that player standpoint. Yeah, so I would have definitely got a got to tell that to him. He just goes in and passes. Or maybe a dark right too. You mean Gothita because he can here he has got the talk. Yeah. But we see now why another Gothita would have been a good play. Yes. Let's see the catch here from my hand. I'm doing a dynamo I'm gonna take care of that thing right now. All he needs is a lightning energy to retreat. Or another oh, he switch. Has a switch. So yeah. now I've used three switches already, and this is really bad. I'm just hoping I can get, avoid getting that uh got the talent play. And well, it doesn't really matter though, because you already have a lightning with the eel. So if he catches it up, you can just manually retreat. Well, the thing is, once he gets set up, he starts paralyzing. I don't have my switches to bail me out, right? If well, if you're knocking out this Gothita this turn. He has two down already, so. Well, that's what I'm saying. I need to. I gotta stay aggressive in aggro. Otherwise, yeah, he if he gets set yeah. up at all, I've pretty much lost. So he's an ultra ball, getting another time more, I would assume. Tool scrapper is a pretty decent discard. It's a dead card in last matchup, anyways. Super rod might come into play. Uh, especially considering if he does get set up, my plan was to sacrifice Tynemo later on, just to, to get out of the lock, yeah. so I'm not stuck active paralyzed. Well, that's a smart play. But, but he, uh, he ran the catcher, so maybe, I don't know. So anyways, you get rid of that Gothia, so that's that puts you in a good position. He can deck and cover, but he can't put you in a lock. Two cards advantage right now. I'm also, he, if, he, if he does, he needs another Shelmet too. I guess any other deck, this would be an incredibly slow strike for me, and I'd be just sitting in the water, so... I got lucky with a matchup here, I guess. So he gets a Pcom. Pcom? Yes. And he oh from a forewarn and then he like shuffles his deck, which is not right. So he I guess he has to play it then. Oh Damien, you and your your tricks. So I, I would get another Shelmet this turn. Yeah, he, he the Gothitelle is in his uh it's in his uh, deck now, so you won't get that rare candy Gothitelle. But he gets another Gothi though, which should have done that last turn, but whatever. I and mean, the seven just bumped the camera. I'm gonna blame Aaron for that, even though he's commenting. I think it was mostly his fault. Yeah. So what? He has a rare candy. Oh, he has a Gothitelle, so he wants to get that in. But right now he's just debating whether or not he wants to go ahead and deck uh, and cover. Deck and cover. Well, he 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 needs to get that Gothitelle next turn. So I would I would deck and cover just to. Slow you down. He sees that I've played three switch, so it's probably a safe play. It is. Uh, you know, I've got still another thirty some cards in my deck, so having that fourth switch is fairly unlikely. So yeah, deck and cover would be the better play right now. Then promote promote uh probably the Musharna. Would mm. 
Goth, Goth, you know, it doesn't really matter. You want you want to keep the Murshana alive so you can try to get supporter because you don't have one. He has a big retreat though, so putting out the Goth is probably the safer play. Yeah, I guess. But that just gives you one switch away from that knockout, and then there will never be a trainer lock this game. So he puts the Goth Eater up. So we don't know which, what play, I guess, is better. I've got my Rayquaza tilted to the left for sleep, and that's obviously incorrect. Yeah, dude. Now you're just trying to throw a poison counter on there, but I thought it was ugly, so I took it off. Hello, look at my hand! And he's in here, he's like, no. I'm a, I'm a professional judge here. I'm like, what is this? You have to keep Maybe your... Maybe showing something? I don't know. It's... <laughs> Put your Pokemon to the right. You don't want... Oh, he has the fourth switch in hand. So that is one dead Gothita. That was a pretty big turning point right there. Yeah, so I guess Mushano would be the better play that turn, but he would have known. I still think Gothita is the better play, just because Personally, Mushano... Yeah. Well, he would be stuck active. Because he well, doesn't if have... he gets a darker out, he has free treat. Yeah, but he's, he can't. You can see his hand. Well, I guess. So now he's, like, screwed. He has no supporters, no other Pokemon. That Rayquaza is... could knock out that Mushana next turn. So he gets a random receiver, it looks like. Yep. Maybe an N will save him this... for a while. Buy him some time. I don't know how many Super Rods he plays, but... He was a Juniper. He's gone three Gothitas already. Which is really not what he wants. Yeah, it's important to avoid that trainer lock. But at this point, I guess it doesn't even matter because I have no switch left to save me anyways. Yeah. But Goth I guess Gothitel can still... It's not as important now, but it would still slow you down getting more eels out. That's true. It would prevent my balls. Yeah. It would give me blue balls. But he wants to put down as many... Shelmets as he can this turn. He needs to keep paralyzed starting now. He's super a super odd. He's gonna put the Gothitas back in anyways. Put three? I'm not sure how many dark energy he plays. He does have a few in play already. He might need those back. Three Gothitas. That might be overkill. Now the three prizes for me. That's what I I'm guess. thinking. That's what you're thinking. <laughs> so I think Damien has an Elgeval in his hand. Maybe he's gonna, or does he? No, I don't see him. No. He has nothing to go with. I don't know what he would do this turn. He, he can't get any more Shelmets or Gothi does this turn. He's just gonna have to sack that Musharna, I guess. He could have retreated for the Dark Eye. It's highly unlikely I'd be able to get three energy in play this turn and attack, uh, since I have no switch left. But he has, no, he has no Dark Energy in his hand, though. He doesn't need one. He has one on the active. No, like, but to I guess, retreat uh, Darker after. I go ahead and catch her up the Darker anyways. Describing my uh, my third catcher, I think. No, my fourth catcher. So I'm out of catcher now, too. Yeah. But I'm going. I'm just going aggro right here. I'm going to take out the Dark Light while I can. Even if the Mission Arena is its draw support, I realize getting uh, no retreat just puts me in really strong You can't position. knock out this Darker this turn, though. Yeah, I can. No, I can't. No, you can't. Because you're out of switches. There's no way you can. I was just kidding, I can't. <laughs> There's another prism energy. I do have the two energy in the discard pile. I think I'm just gonna set up for next turn. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yes, two eels out. You're in really good event. You have really good advantage. There's like two lightnings in discard. I think. No, there's multiple lightning. I think right yeah, now. You, yeah, yeah. Because the first turn, first turn you junipered for two already. So you you definitely have a lot of lightning. So right now Damien is screwed. He really needs to get as many shelmets as he can the following turns. He doesn't really need Gothitel as much now, so he should focus on the Goth uh, on the shelmets. So you do uh, 120 on the dark right? Uh, yeah, I guess I go ahead and do the 120 right now anyways. Because yeah. there's no way he's going to be able to heal it. He yeah, he can't heal, so sure. it's not a bad play. And that's why you know, I have the KO guaranteed. Yeah, if he retreats, you can also, yeah, well, whatever the tag is, Thunder Crash, whatever mm, it is. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. I hardly ever use Ra or Raikou anyways, it's just yeah. in my deck for it. Well, it does 100 to any Pokemon, so that deck retreats, Volt it's still Volt, not I think? Good. Volt Bolt? That yeah, sounds I think, about right. I think, yeah, sounds right. Here's a catcher, he brings up an Elo. Yeah, Obviously, he, the one without the Lightning Energy. Yeah, he needs to stall, and there's no more switches, so 
He's safe for at least one turn. That was another option I could have done last turn. I could have dynamoted one energy onto my eel. That way I would have been able to retreat. Um, and that way only doing 60 damage, I would still have the ability to do 120 to a next turn. Yeah. So that's a misplay on my part right there. I got a little too ahead of myself. But at this point, I don't think it's going to matter. No, Damien doesn't look like... He needs a Juniper. He needs to get rid of a, his whole hand and try to get those shellments. But he'll be discarding a DC and a, a Selgor, so that's not what he wants. Maybe if he had an end, that's what he would have looked for. But he still needs to Juniper this turn. He ended up passing, I guess. He just passed, I guess. If I go ahead and Juniper away my secret tech Terrakion in there. Didn't need it this matchup, so... No, you did. That's why you see I'm running Prism Energy instead of just Fire Energy. Did you have an energy in your hand before Juniper? Uh, I don't recall. Alright, because if you didn't, there was no need for you to Juniper, I guess. I don't think I did. I needed to get that energy on the eels. Mm -hmm. So now you can attach the lightning, setting up for chaos. Just put one on each, spreading my energy around. Yeah. I don't know how many energies in your hand, but if you didn't have another energy, I just put a dynamo on the other eel to prevent another catcher. Well, he's not going to spend a catcher on the other eel because he has an energy on there already. So there's two eels both with an energy on it. Catching it wouldn't make any difference whatsoever. No, I mean if you if you retreat it after. Anyways, <laughs> what? Did, okay, I was. I guess I'm a little confused there, but he, he has a Sharon. He. Uh, He's just desperate, desperately drawing. We'll see if he can pull anything out. Uh oh. Oh, don't shuffle, Damien. Oh. <laughs> He's just uh, second us Damien's out again. a new player with this deck. He was just boring a deck. We didn't want him to play Ray Eels, too. Because we knew Mike was going to play it. Then we didn't want fair matches or anything. It wasn't a mere match. Yeah. Sailor. But that's okay. Damien, you can't talk. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Alright. So what's he gonna do? He Charons. I think he top decked that. Or he uh, forewarned it. But if he didn't put any Shemus down, he probably doesn't have any. It's not looking good for him. Yeah, I don't and think there's passes. anything he can do right now anyways. Yeah, I would, He's I, six prizes in hand. He has no trainer lock. Even if I have spent all my energy, uh, there's yeah. just no way you can have taken yeah, six I would prizes. Have, I would have definitely Junipered that turn when he could. Because Mike is going to eventually have energies on his eel to retreat. He need he needed that only that time to uh, go for the shelmets, but he decides to pass, which is probably not the better play. But he's really in a hole right now, so no matter what he does, it's going to be difficult to win. Level ball for another uh, eel. I don't need it at all. I'm just you know thinning on my deck in case I get end late game. Yeah. I can go ahead and put it down and attach an energy to it. Yeah, if you if you put it down, I definitely die motor and energy to it. I don't remember if I do or not. I don't. I don't need to. No. So that's the knockout. So he's down. Oh, he has one prize left. Damien only has a Musharna, and he can't retreat now because this dark guy's knocked out. Oh, I get two level balls. That's why it took me so long to get my uh, eels into play this game. Oh, that was interesting. So Damien. I don't know how many Dark Rise he plays, but most decks run like one. Nah, Dark Rise is pretty important. I think we should run two. Run two? Because otherwise you can't reach your Gothitelle every day. Yeah. Every turn. Every day. Oh well, yeah, there's another Dark Rise right there. So he needs to get Dark Rise and at least two shells. Oh, uh, he's shuffling his deck. Why, why is he shuffling? From what? What do you do? Four one? Uh, I didn't see it. Yeah, I think uh, I think he did it finally. Oh. So he cheats again. And we didn't catch him. That's okay. Yeah, put down the Mew EX. There's no reason not to. And then, this, did he use the support this turn? Uh, I wasn't watching. I was too busy commenting. Okay, if he, I don't think he did, but if he if he has another catch left, I, I have to Juniper and dig for it. And hope Mike doesn't have an energy. That's the only way he can get out of this situation. There's a phone and call. That, that's a good timing for us. My bad. Hopefully someone gets that quick. Call from Little. Alright, alright, okay. Maybe we should, uh. Turn off the phone, I'll yeah. make a good idea. Alright, my apologies. <laughs> that won't happen again. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. So he ends, alright. Which is what he wants. And he needs to get 
definitely that catcher if he has it. I don't know how many catches he played, but that's the only way out he has. Aaron's looking at my prize right there. I'm not sure why. So Damien draw six. Most does he have a catcher? I think I saw it. Finally, he gets another Gothita into play. No, I don't. I that's don't think he has. No, there's no, all. there's no catch in his hand. And that's that's the uh, so game. That, that's the game. And he has an energy. So if you catch it, you know, it didn't matter. So that's the game. Mike wins. He's one to zero. And the settings will be up. I will put them up, so we can all see what we are at. Or you know, there's only six games to memorize, so you can just look at it that way. I'm one and zero. If you want, yeah. There so, you go. So I'm one and uh, Mike's one and zero. I'm zero and zero. Aaron zero zero, and Damien is going one. Well, that was completely unnecessary. Yeah, All right, so guys. See you guys. Uh, game two will be coming out in two days or so. So see you.